why is Bitcoin spiritual? Why is it invoking spiritual change in people? And it's a, it's a very difficult question to answer, but it's something like it begs the question to me of how, because we ourselves are also complex adaptive systems, right? Just the individual organism, in addition to participating in the complex adaptive systems of the global economy, the global climate, right? Like we are all everything we do, like we're participating in that ecosystem or those ecosystems, if you will. And so it begs the question to me if how much are we integrated to both, you know, well, these systems, right? Like economic systems, which is another way of maybe saying, like, how much are the pathways of individual character and moral development influenced by the incentive systems they inhabit? You know, this is one area I think that Bitcoiners would agree strongly on, that incentives really matter and they really shape who we are and they really determine the shape of society and the way societies operate. Um, it also kind of begs the question, to what extent are human beings core operating components of Bitcoin itself? So as you plug into Bitcoin, you know, not just buying it and holding it, but really start to study it and try to live out the principles. You know, you, you, as you start to study Bitcoin, we conjecture where it's going to go, right? Towards this world of the sovereign individual, less nation statism, less coercivism, more individualism. Well, then in that act of extrapolating where things are going, we start to try and embody that in the present, right? Because, say, oh, this is where I want to go. This is what I want to go towards. You start to enact that life. And when you start to enact that life, it seems like it takes you towards traditional value systems. And a lot of those are captured in things like Christianity, uh, but not just Christianity, right? Like you could also be Buddhist. You could also be Islamic. I mean, th these older religions that have a lot of, uh, let's say, Lindy principles for living well with your fellow man, right? And, and living moral lives. Uh, they seem to contain a lot of the lessons that Bitcoiners are kind of rediscovering by becoming adherence to the principles that, that Bitcoin embodies. So I don't exactly know the causal mechanism, but it is the common pattern with people is Bitcoiners start to identify, they take inventory of their lives and they say, you know, okay, I do these few things good. And maybe this is something like it's, it's, it's humbling, right? When you lower your time preference, right? You start to step out of yourself. You look at yourself in context of a larger whole, right? The, the whole of human history. Again, how humans are influenced by incentives. So you start to get more of an objective lens on yourself to some extent. And then you start to take an honest inventory. Like, okay, well, here's some things I'm good at. Here's some areas of my life that are going well. Here's some other areas of my life that aren't so good that I think there's room for improvement. And then the theme is people just start working on that, right? They start, okay, I'm not in good shape or I'm not, I don't have a good community church practice, whatever the thing is, or I'm not eating well, or I'm not, uh, I don't like my job. I want to go start this business. And people just start like marking those things out that they don't like. And they start adding to the list about the things of themselves they do like. So Somehow, Bitcoin encourages you as this sound savings instrument to just become more serious about self-development. Is that a product of just the freedom that Bitcoin is affording you by virtue of giving people more purchasing power and economic liberty? Maybe, but there's a lot of rich people in the world that aren't doing this, right? There's plenty of people with plenty of financial freedom that aren't following this same pattern. So what is it about Bitcoiners? Why are they having more kids? Why are they getting in shape? Why are they going back to church? Why are they, you know, adopting ancestral diets? And um, again, I don't, it's something very interesting to think about. I don't have the, the bright answer for it, but it is probably the most fascinating aspect of Bitcoin. Bitcoin.